So one thing that I think is important to think when we're thinking about a national identity and nationalism is that it's a socially constructed identity just like any other social identity we might have, right? So I'm an American and I might feel American not because I have some special American blood in me that makes me act American and behave American, right? But it's because, you know, this sense of being American and what it means to be American has been built into me, you know, from the day I was born, right? So for example, um, in daily rituals, right? So saying the Pledge of Allegiance, right? Every day before school and facing the flag and doing this together with my fellow Americans. Or standing and singing the national anthem at sports events, um, recognizing and celebrating national holidays, right? Like Thanksgiving or July 4th. And also being recognized by my fellow Americans as an American as well and getting benefits from the US government because of my, my American citizenship. So some scholars have pointed to this, that having this sense of, you know, um, common identity can build, you know, um, can make us care about one another, um, and there could be good outcomes to this. But on the, the flip side of that is that there's something that has, it has to be defined against, and there has to be some other, right? So that means people are going to be uh, necessarily excluded, and sometimes they can be excluded in a way that can be very detrimental and lead to violence, right, and generate strong dislike or animosity towards that group, especially if that group is seen as a threatening outgroup, 